Hey YouTube, every day you wake up you have a choice. You can chase your own dreams or keep building someone else's. For me, 3D printing was a pivot point. Away from punching someone else's clock and working for their dreams. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Will and I'm a 65 year old man that's been studying Fusion 360 to be able to create STL files that I can sell on Amazon's print on demand. I had spent about 20 years working as a master carpenter, um, doing everything from building stairs to trim work and it really took a toll on my body. I was not able to to carry on doing that very long so I started doing electronic repair and shortly after that I started getting into the hydrographics and that started off being a business too. Uh, I sold both of those businesses last year and then started working for someone else and after a year and a half I'm, I'm already ready to find something to do on my own. I know I can tell you that starting a business is not easy. It is a constantly uphill battle until you get to the top of the hill. And then it becomes very easy. Things start doing things for themselves. Uh, when I started my hydrographics business, I didn't have very many customers at all in the beginning. But what it was is no one knew I was there. After I had placed several ads on Facebook and on uh, Google, um, along with my website and just word of mouth, it wasn't very long before I started having customers come in on a weekly basis. So, I, But I might have sat there for a month or two with nothing going on other than, you know, upgrading or upfitting my shop or getting ready for that. Um, but after time, after a couple of years, it got to a point where the phone just rang every day on Saturday, on Sunday. If I was on my vacation, it didn't matter. It just rang. And it was always somebody wanting something done. So I got to a point where I could pick and choose what I wanted to do. And then I could also choose what I wanted to charge them because there really wasn't very many other people doing it in my area. So I really could charge what I want. And 3D printing in a way is the same way. It's such a new technology that you can jump in now and create your small uh, print farm and and have customers before it becomes a, a big thing so that's what I'm gonna do and that's what I'm trying to do and if you've been on the channel before you know I've got parts I'm working on now like I said I've only been doing this for seven weeks and of course my path is probably completely different from your path you may not want to learn uh, fusion and you may want somebody else to to do that for you and, and that's fine you may want to sell the dragons or you may want to do this or that it, it's whatever just do it make yourself happy that's what counts more than anything else is making yourself happy positivity just getting up every day taking that one little step one step to freedom If you made it this far, YouTube, if you would give me a like or subscribe, it really helps me to grow my channel. Um, I'm really surprised at the growth that we've had. We're almost at a thousand subscribers and we're so blessed. So I want to show you this. If you've been with me before, you've probably seen I'm making some, some new type of uh, track saw holders that hold track saws. And we had talked about putting in a spring-loaded trigger so that it's easy to get on and off instead of the one that's up there you have to twist and they don't stay up all the time. Um, this is version 4.0. I'm at 5.3 now, which is where I'm about finished. We have a little lock now that can actually leave it there. And you can hit that little switch on the side and it'll pop it back. Uh, but we won't show you that one. I'll just tell you about it because it's going to be going to the copyright lawyer and we'll let him just take a look at it and see what I can and can't do, which will help me figure out what I want to do. And yeah, that'll take a little bit though. I'll send it down to South Carolina to him and, 
I don't know how long it's going to take. He doesn't know how long it's going to take. He just says he'll let me know. So that's on pause. Uh, what's next for me, though, is TPU. I've ordered some TPU. I've been figuring out since I've been doing the nylon carbon fiber and ASA. I might as well try some TPU. So I've looked up a pair of shoes I want to print for myself. Nothing big or fancy. It's a uh, nice little slip-ons to wear around the house. Now, after looking up the TPUs, I see there's an 85A, a 90A, and a 95A. Um, a buddy of mine had done some of the Crocs in a 95A, and I couldn't hardly bend a 95A. And maybe it was just the Crocs that he had, or maybe it was his print setting. I don't know, but it didn't even look very comfortable. And I've also seen videos of people doing 85A, and it looks like it's real flexible and bendable, like the shoes you can just tie them in a knot. So I think that's too soft. Uh, so I'm going to try the 90. I'm going to go in between, and then I can just determine if I want to go harder or softer. So uh, that'll be here tomorrow. I'll start printing that up. Uh, right now... I'm almost done with a spool winder. Uh, I got it off of um, Bamboo Labs, little, little marketplace there. Uh, I was trying to wind the nylon, and it, I had a little stick through there and uh, through the spool, and trying to wind it, it took me forever. I had to take it off that big, fat cardboard spool, which wouldn't fit in my uh, AMS system to dry it out. So. Anyway, this is a nice little thing. It, it no no nuts, no bolts. Um, so should just snap together. Um, I'll show you that, and maybe you'll want to print one. I don't know. I, I'm not one of those kind of guys that wants to do box openings and and do all these type of little prints like uh, all these other channels do. I, I I feel that my channel's so small that. All I'll be doing is rehashing stuff that's already there. I mean, you have some creators that get a 3D printer three months before it's released. How do I compete to that? Until they send me one that's months ahead of the release. I'm, I don't know how many times I'll open a box. I, I did enjoy Jen doing the opening and trying to set it up for herself. I was quite proud of her for her 22-minute success, really. Um, other than we had to wait 30 minutes for it to, you know, calibrate, but that gave us time to get some ice cream. So anyway, YouTube, I appreciate you coming in and watching. Um, I know what I'm printing next. I'm printing TPU and I hope you're there with me. Thank you so much, YouTube. See ya.